Hi sisters, today we're going to be talking about a cringe YouTube shorts account that is still using Vine humor. Also subscribe because I'm trying to get to 300,000 subscribers before the end of July. Matt and just us. After seeing this content, if it was just us in a conversation, I would need to take at least five unmarked pills. Their banner says new videos every week. And to that I say, thank Christ almighty, I've been waiting. They have 2.8 million subscribers and their most viewed video it genuinely has no views at all. It's really weird. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. It has 111 million views. YouTube shorts are a whole different world. What the fuck? And here's the thing. I genuinely wouldn't be talking about these people if I thought that their content was okay. Okay is all I need, but I feel like their content is fucking terrible. Here's a video called, When You Want to Fit In With Your Black Friends. Welcome to the party. We got seltzers in the kitchen and tons of hot girls by the pool. Oh, awesome. yeah. One sec, my friend Darnell's walking out. What up, Matt, my boy? What's up, blood? Check this shit out, all right? We got some Hennessy in the kitchen Hennessy? and we got some fine ass bitches in the bag. Hey, 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 hey. Did they just name it? Why don't you just change your inflection talking to Darnell? That was kind of racist. No, Darnell and I have known each other since the third grade. Is I'm sorry. The tone switching is not my main focus of this. The handshake and then nay-naying like it's 2013 is really what's bothered me. Uh, one second, my friend Maria is walking out. Orale, Orale, fool. Welcome to the fiesta. We got some cervezas in the fridge. Party asada on the grill. And the Doyer game starts at five. Oh, hey, those Doyer uh, sorry, what were you saying? You just did it again with Maria. That was racist. No, Maria and I grew up in the Boys and Girls Club together. That's just how we talk. Well, one second, my gay friend Craig is walking out. Oh, I wonder how this is going to go with your gay friend Craig. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that this kind of content was over. If this was a re-upload from Vine Times, I would genuinely think like, oh, that makes sense. But it's not. This is new content. Where's Cola Brandt when you need him? Bitch. Hey, slut. We got some pina coladas in the fridge and some Speedos in the back so we can take a good from the koozie later. Oh, you sad. Oh, oh uh, Sorry, what were you saying? Well, so we're making fun of gays now. Craig and I have been doing hot yoga together for years. That's just how we talk. One second, my friend Scrappy's here. Scrappy. <laughs> Vine boom! <laughs> what the fuck was that, you guys? That has 2.4 million likes. Over 10 million views. How depressing is that? Oh my god. I try to upload a video every day of the week. They're posting one short every week, and it has more views than all of my videos that I've uploaded this year combined. <laughs> also, I think it's funny that they've got, like, the best friend in there to be like, hey, that's racist. Like, it takes the racism out of it if you acknowledge it? What a weird fucking concept. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, here's a group of people that I don't like. I think that they're dirty and smelly and overall they're just gross people. Hey, that's racist. No, it's not actually because you said that it was racist. It doesn't take the power out of what you're saying. Here's a cool one called homeless people in 2022 be like... <laughs> Be like? This is King Batch. Hey, Justice, can you keep it down? I'm trying to watch the game on the new Home Dito. I just installed it. Pretty cool, huh? I'll keep it down. Cool. Oh, that's right. Homeless people just bark. Okay, right now. Also, what a weird thing to be saying. Dude, homeless people these days, they prefer the Lakers versus the Celtics over food. Hey, Matthew, do you have any sunscreen for the new pool I Is just installed in my... Dude, they're so rich that they got a $30 blow up pool. What is this supposed to be saying? That poor people aren't as poor as they say? Homeless people aren't actually homeless? It's just what they decide to do with their money? Yeah, I could get you some sunscreen. Hey, Justice, you think I could borrow a ladder for my new two story tent? I would, but I'm using it to build my new back house on my tent. Hey, I got a package for Justice Dominic. Damn it! And the punchline was the wind. 2.1 million likes. How about this one called Gender Reveals in 2022 be like? Three, two, one. Okay. 
What? What's that? What's it's orange? orange. The doctor said the baby doesn't identify as a boy or a girl. Oh my what? god, I mean, they slash them baby. Our baby's gonna be so woke. No, 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 we can't have that dude. That's it. Oh my god, we're gonna be having a they slash them baby. 580,000 likes. What are the comments? Plot twist, it doesn't identify as boy or girl, so it's actually an orange. She ate a seed by accident, and now she's growing an orange tree. That's the kind of people that you have commenting on your videos. People making jokes about seeds growing in your stomach. This comment is heat. LMAO. Oh my god. God. Also, this joke has already been done. This video came out five months ago. Here's a video from four years ago. Well, All right. here we go. It's been a long time. We've been waiting for this moment. Here we go. See that color? What? That's clear. That's white. Okay, we do not assign genders at birth. That's genuinely such an annoying thing to steal content from an OG YouTuber. Be like, yeah, this was actually our idea. <laughs> Fuck off. What about this one called when she's clearly a gold digger? Vine boom sound effect. <laughs> but that backflip though. But that Nash Greer has a baby now though. But that Cody Co though. I thought the gold digger content was over. Like remember those pranks where it was like gold digger prank. Here I am in a Lamborghini after approaching you as a homeless person. <laughs> Let's see if this is a unique take or something that's already been done before. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh wow, you're hot gorgeous. Mama. What's your Instagram? Ew, no, I have a boyfriend. All right, sure. Are you ready to go to dinner, babe? Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? Just keep it going. What the hell? How's she with that guy? You look so good today. You look really sexy, too. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Here's your monthly allowance. Buy yourself something tight. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Right. Most disabled people I know have a lot of money. That's why I have a fund for people with chronic illness is because it's like normal for people to just be loaded, man. Also, that's such an offensive, rude fucking thing to do. You could have done this in such a different way. You didn't have to make the person in a wheelchair and have a weird voice and have like a Groucho Marx glasses on. It fucking sucks. What about this one called when girls have gay friends? Girls are not allowed to have gay friends friends, first of all. And second of all, I know where this is going. I bet you the gay guy is going to end up almost fucking the girl at the end. Ew, I have a boyfriend. All right, whatever. I'll show yeah. you how it's done, uh -huh. He's gay, he can do whatever he wants. I actually heard that though, like strangers, a stranger can go up to any woman and as long as he's gay and she's straight, it's like, um, mommy milkers, please, let's bone. Shit, nice tits. Woo! Woo! Yes! You're alone with your boyfriend. What? I'm not gay. What? I'm about to go back to my place and did I call it or not? So what we've learned from this, if you pretend to be gay, you can get whatever you want. You know, the next party that I go to, not that I'm invited to any, I'm going to pretend to be gay and then push myself on a woman and expect the best. Okay, this last one's called when you have a wet dream. If this content isn't geared towards literal middle schoolers, then I don't know what is. When I was in fifth grade and you were taught about the birds and the bees, they put so much emphasis on wet dreams. What the fuck? I had nightmares about wet dreams. I'm not kidding. I would have paid like thousands of dollars to experience a wet dream. Just kidding. <laughs> so you're not going to prom this year? I want to, but I don't have a date. Hey, oh. Sheldon. Oh my God. It's Jimmy Rock again. We're literally in high school. <laughs> Oh my god, we're literally in high school, though. That outfit fits with the fucking environment. I bet you what's gonna happen is that, like, we're gonna realize that this was a dream, and then he wakes up in a puddle of his own excrement. The hottest girl in school, why is she waving at you? The way you saw the quad drive formula in pre calculus this morning was so hot. It was? Why don't we go behind the bleachers and not hey, give, give me you my a glasses sloppy back. Joe? Ready for that sloppy Joe? Um, yes. Are you going to put meat and bun around my penis? Penis and barbecue sauce. Is that what a sloppy Joe is? You just take a sloppy Joe and fornicate? Yeah. Oh. Is that your mom? Shut it, wake up! Oh no. I'm in a wet dream! What Shut the fuck? It! Okay, this is good. Let's go back to the sloppy joke. Sex, you gotta wake up. The rumors on campus are true. I give the best sloppy jokes. Okay. No. No. Hi, Sheldon. I want the sloppy joke. I want sloppy, sloppy Joe? Joe. Who's Joe? Sheldon, wake up. You're gonna be late for school. Okay, just give me five more minutes. I guess I'm gonna give myself a floppy toe. We're just like full grown adults playing high schoolers who are like masturbating. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna give myself a floppy toe. That's the kind of content you're making? Oh my God. Matt Injustice, stop it! 
stop it. Literally, I wish that there was some kind of justice done. I want your fucking videos to be better. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and all of the cool content that they posted. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also, please check out my clothing brand and fund for people with chronic illness never stop. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.